G'day, it's Pete here. We're back again for another weekly free instant tournament. So let's see what we can do today. So we're logging into BBO, uh, going to Solitaire, weekly free. And uh, yeah. Board number one. We've got a 10 count. And this is the best hand tournament. So partner has an unbalanced hand. Uh, the points are split 10, 10, 10, 10. You don't see that very often. Best hand tournament just means that you have the most or equal most high cut points at the table. So I usually don't use that, but this is like super strange um, spot. So not going to get overly excited, but uh, let's just try playing two clubs. Usually I'd raise to three clubs with this sort of hand, but partner's got a 10 count, so they're going to pass anyway. So, yeah. We have one club loser, two heart losers, some diamond losers. I want extra entries to the south hand, so let's see what they do. I've got really good pips. I've got the king through to the six. They're all good, so let's unblock the nine, the extra entries. And I can probably just pitch here. And I'm just going to lead a diamond straight up. So uh, here, the queen of spades looks like I, I should be able to work out every high card point by now. Uh, West has the ace of clubs. The queen of spades looks like they've got queen jack. So that's seven. They've got 10 points. So they've got the queen of diamonds and they've got the jack of hearts. Or they've just got the king of hearts, in which case there's nothing I can do about that. So I've got the Queen of Diamonds and Jack. Okay. So we can draw Trump, see if Diamonds split. Let's see if Club split it as well. Club split. So there goes a heart. Be rough. Just catch the Ace of Hearts. And we'll rough one back for our last heart. And we got the rest. 100%. Steve said, greetings from Minnesota. Kind of surprised from, uh, and David said, hello from Arizona. Kind of surprised that that one's 100%. Like, what are other people doing? So raising the three clubs, club to the ace, club back, yep. Ah, uh, okay, so they're not unblocking the club. But they could still just win it with the queen. I don't think that you really need to get to the south hand. So they win, they ca Yeah, they opened that up. So I think I was just careful with the entries there. Hey, Carlo, how's it going? But yeah, I just noticed that we've got king through to six and may as well have entries to the south hand. Um, judging where you need to use entries, what you want to do is just say, well, I want to play diamonds from the south hand. I maybe want to play hearts from the south hand. I don't really need to um, do much from the north hand. So often when looking at entries, sometimes it can be tricky, but I'll look at other suits and say, well, which side do I want to be playing that suit from overall, just to get a feeling of where, where you want to get more entries. Uh, we've got a 12 count here. Uh, so I open a diamond, partner double showing four spades, um, and... I don't want to make a takeout double here. I don't want to let them play two hearts. They've got a heart fit. Um, I don't want to push them up a level. But bidding three clubs seems a bit too much. I don't think it should be this strong, seeing as I passed here. I'm actually just going to compete to our 4-3 spade fit and hopefully uh, either make it Serious? I passed. What are you doing to me? Um, do I bid three spades? Do I bid three no? Do I bid four clubs? I feel like they're just getting out of hand. Let's bid three spades and hope for the best. If I go down two, this will be so frustrating. Okay. So, right. 
Firstly, how are they going in hearts? They're almost certainly making two hearts. Uh, they might lose two hearts, two clubs, a diamond. Hard to see them losing more than that. So if I can get out for down one, that looks good. We've got nine points up there and I've got 12, which is 21. So the opponents have 19. Again, best hand tournament, but East showed sort of 10, 11. West is pretty minimum, so it might be 10 and 9, uh, 9 and 10. I don't think it's 11 and 8, but uh, let's see how this starts. So, and 7 of diamonds, that very well could be a singleton, top of a double turn. It could be queen 9, 7, queen 10, 7. But I doubt I'd be leading a diamond uh, that often. Okay, and we get a club shift. Well, uh, uh, interestingly, oh, I should have considered hopping up with the Ace of Clubs. That Club 10 very much looks like a singleton, um, which meant that given time, I could have gone like Ace of Clubs and then run the eight and then um, played another one. But I, I really don't have time to pick up clubs for one. So I think hearts are six three or five four. I think East has ace queen of diamonds. Okay, some good news. That wasn't a singleton, right? Okay, so East has like two clubs. Uh, I can eventually play King of Clubs club over. Maybe we knock out the top spade. Hope spades are. Uh... So West, so East two is a past hand has King of Spades, Ace of Diamonds. Do I finesse here? Like, why didn't West continue a diamond? Why are they doing it now? I think I finesse. Like, would West lead low diamond from the queen? Like, what's their hand? Uh, queen third club. Ace third spade, five hearts to the king. We'll try it. Okay. So West played high low, so uh Diamonds are four two. So I could play like heart to the ace, rough a heart. King of Diamonds pitching a heart. Then I think I'm actually making from that stage. We go over here. All right, th that's I'm making if uh, if spades are four two, not if they're three three. I think they're probably three three. I think I messed up. Now they play a club and they get that rough. Down one. Uh, it's still probably okay, but I think I should have played spades to be 3-3. Three, 78%. Three. Okay, I still beat all those two hearts. Really, no one else bid... People bid three clubs. Yeah, when I looked at the description of that, that really frightened me. Um, so I figured, oh, someone got to, f okay, they bid two spades and then they like, whatever, I'll bid two, no, <laughs> three, no. Yeah. Uh, so trying to bail out of that was super awkward, but uh, 
Let's get to where I think I could have maybe made. Okay, so we finesse. And at this stage, Yeah, I can just play the jack of spades, king of clubs, club, and then pitch. Yeah, I, I thought I was making regardless, and then I realized with 3-3 three, three, they score both of their trumps. Because I can't afford to over rough or not. But, ah, that's annoying. What would that have been? Could have got 100% there. All right. Moving on to board number three, and we've got 13 high card points and a six, three, a two, two, six, three. Uh, so opening one diamond's pretty normal. Uh, I'm gonna try something a little feisty and open a no trump. Sometimes I think five card suits are worth one point, six card suits are kind of worth two points. My queen jack doubleton's really not worth it for it, but we are favorable. And it really jams the opponents out of their mages, makes it hard for them to actually try and compete there. Uh, so that's why I went for that. And we've got 13 opposite six. So 21 missing. Um, I want to try and set up diamonds. I can finesse deep or low. Um, I am kind of worried about a club shift, but they don't know I've got this good diamond suit. So I actually think if I play low, I think East will win and actually play a diamond a lot of the time. Um, also, if West has both the king and jack, it works out really well. Beautiful. Okay, so if that's the case, let's finesse a diamond. Okay. Uh, I can't really afford to cash my ace of hearts here. Uh, if diamonds are 2-2, two, two, I can. Um, I can just cash my ace of hearts and go back to diamonds. But if diamonds are 3-1, uh, um, then cashing it's no good. But if diamonds are 2-2, two, two, I can play a diamond to the ace, diamond back to the nine, then cash it. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that. And importantly here, I don't think everyone's going to be in one no trump, so just making one no trump is pretty good. Um, so how many tricks do I want to duck? If I duck another one, then in theory they can um, just cash two spades, so there's no real benefit here. Uh, we're making one. Eighty-five percent. Yeah, lots of people in three diamonds. You bid one diamond, they get in with their heart fit, and then feel like you want to try and compete. So here, preempting them out of it worked out uh, pretty well there. Yeah, moving on to board number four. We've got a 16 count, so one heart, one spade. This is pretty awkward. Um, but here, with a 5 4 3 1 shape, if I had like a minimum sort of 11 to 14, I'd often just bid two spades. It's one of the few times I do a three card raise. But when I'm in the sort of 15 to 18 points, I want to make an invitational auction. So the way that I like to do that is round out my shape initially by just bidding two diamonds. And then partner usually corrects to two hearts and then bid two spades to show extras. If they pass, this can still be fine. We're not missing a game. We find our diamond fit, in fact. Okay. So, this one's pretty awkward about trying to count losers. We're in a 4-4 four, four fit. And I've got like two, maybe three diamond losers, a heart loser and a spade, 
Or alternatively, I've got three club losers and a spade and two or three diamonds. I could try cross roughing, but I feel like that wouldn't capitalize on the long hearts. And I also feel like they're gonna make me rough in this hand. So counting losers from the north hand is probably decent. Uh, the other question is, how do I want to play diamonds? So I want to like lead the jack, then they'll make me rough, and then I can cash the ace, see if east has a double to honor. Or I could win. So I'm winning this regardless. I could play like a spade to the king. Um, if I get a spade set up, that's all right. But I think we'll start a diamond here. Picks up East having double to Nona. Doesn't seem that likely they might have covered. But. Yeah. Now I just want to force out the Ace of Spades. Okay, good. So they can't draw the final trump on me. Um, so I have all the rest, but. Yeah, I got all the rest except for that one diamond. I can just play spades and hearts and everything. 75%. So I'm past a spade. I feel like that's giving up the chance of um, getting to four spades. Someone raised, but they went down. I, you very well could make four spades opposite of past hand. So I think rounding out your shape's good, but uh, yeah. All right, four wards down, we're at just under 85%, so can't complain there. Pass a spade, all against not. We've got six clubs, could bid two clubs. It's very soft in the majors here, Dalton Queen, Dalton Jack. No intermediates and clubs. I'm not loving it, but we'll go ahead and bid it, but pass could be the winning action. I am not thrilled if partner competed to three clubs or something. Uh, yeah, so East has a whole lot of spades, West has a whole lot of hearts. They're going to draw trumps and then run hearts. So we need to get our tricks as quickly as possible. So here I'm just going to go Ace, King of Clubs for sure. And we came down with 11. Okay, so partner can over trump the two of spades, that's for sure. Yeah, we knock out the ace there. See if my partner had queen fourth spade. Seems unlikely. See if my partner's got the king of diamonds. That might be enough. That looks like it was enough. So my partner have a heart ace as well. Yeah, 53%. That looked amazingly routine. Nearly flat across the board. Didn't even need to give partner their rough. They just had a natural spade trick anyway. All right. 12 points. Start with a spade. Four clubs. Splinter. My hand is as bad as it can be. King, Queen, Dalton is just atrocious. We hope we don't go down. Okay. Well, partner has their bid. I still think we're going down. Looks like we're going to lose two diamonds and two hearts. Um, yeah, try and get them not to give their partner the rough. Yeah. Um, entries wise, I could play the four of spades to the five. Again, like, I don't know what I need to do with that, but, um, yeah, there's nothing I need to be in the north hand for, so.
Um, here, my main hope is that East has a doubleton heart honor. So, we rough. We cash the ace of hearts. Go over and we lead a heart. And they win and hopefully give me a rough and discard. No. Sixty percent. Yeah, I could have played for West to have King Queen of Hearts. That was like another option. Um, maybe I should have tried to time it such that I played one low heart towards the Ace Jack and see if they split. Um, but playing East for double to honor seemed like best chance there. Yeah, board number seven, and we've got 12, 14, 15. All right, 12, 13, 15, yeah. Okay, one spade, two spades. I need like way too much from partner to be making game. Like ace, king of diamonds isn't necessarily enough. We've got two heart losers, one of which can go on a club. We've got two diamond losers, which we can sort of finesse. They're finessing the spade for us. So that singleton king onside. So it looks like we just want to go ace queen of clubs, diamond to the ace. I was initially wondering if I wanted to play a spade over towards the. Uh. <laughs> what I was trying to say, I was initially. Wondering if I should play a spade over towards the eight and cash the king of clubs. And as I'm trying to say that, my brain's like, king of clubs, let's just put that on the queen. So now we have blown this hand in terms of most people will play this and then uh, just ditch a heart. So I want to work out a way to play diamonds to try and rectify this so that I... Um, like, how would most people play diamonds that loses? So, most people would go like ace, like cash the clubs, diamond to the ace, and then lead a diamond towards the queen nine, which is a good idea because West has short spades and all that stuff. Um, but I think I want to play West to have the king jack of diamonds now so that I can get a trick back and try and flatten the board because no one else is crashing their club on us. I should have, yeah, it doesn't matter. Thirty-two percent for crashing my owners. That's not bad. Uh, some people bid game. Um, seems a poor game to be bidding. Yeah. I'm happy with thirty-two percent when I crash my owners. Um, but yeah, I think playing diamond to the ace diamonds and uh, it, east would sometimes hop up with the king. Um, would be good. Uh, yeah, still at 69%, even after a misclick. So I got, got to appreciate that. Uh, here we got 15 points. I'm going to pass, pass a diamond. We'll go ahead. We'll overcall a no trump. We get doubled. Or else don't play rescue redoubles. Uh, all right. Let's see if we can make it. Yeah, we got three points from partner. We've got a slow heart stopper. Um, we can maybe build some tricks in spades. 
We've got two diamonds, a club, and a spade is four. Let's say we can build an extra one is five, a heart six. Down one looks within reason. Okay, they just crashed their spades. Right, so he says two spades and they managed to crash their spade on us. That's promising. Let's duck it. Well, maybe I shouldn't have ducked. My nine of clubs might have been useful there. Okay. So West has king, queen. Hang on. East has the king of diamonds, king, jack of spades. King Jack of Spades, King of Diamonds at seven. Jack of Clubs is eight. Then we've got the eight of Hearts. Okay. We'll take a couple of spades. There's one heart. There's one club. Okay, so if I catch my club, so I think diamonds were two, three, four, four, right? I don't have enough diamonds to really punish me here. So let's just play a heart, knock that out. That five diamonds are, it would have been awkward because I'd get squeezed on like the, the next diamond. But that was not the best defense from them. 100%. I didn't even notice my six of diamonds was high. <laughs> All right, so we finished with 73 with the only bad board being when I managed to play ace queen opposite king third for two tricks. So that was pretty sweet. Uh, board five was like a super flat board, which felt like very little could be done. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Um, interesting ones about starting with best hand tournaments to work out like what should actually be done here. What should you compete? Can you place the honors with that information? And this one trying to compete and then, uh, yeah, yeah, I could have got 100% on this if I managed to play spades for to be 3-3, three, three, which I think I should because if they had four spades and they were 4-2, then um, what would happen is they probably would have tried a forcing defense on me, um, trying to force me to rough and shorten the trumps. But they didn't do that. So I think playing them to be 3-3 three, three would have been sensible. But hope you enjoyed it. Thanks all for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.